Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, my key focus will be on how you can learn DevOps faster. So you want to watch this video to the end because at least I'll share a tip that can benefit you in your DevOps learning process. And with that, you can upskill yourself to learn the DevOps practice easier. If you're watch, if you're coming across this content and you're coming maybe from the legal background or from the IT background or from the tech background or whatever the case, I just want to highlight to you that DevOps is actually possible for anyone who is interested in having a life transforming journey. And with DevOps being technology, if you dedicate the right amount of time, you will be able to get yourself a DevOps role after going through a lot of the various key steps which the DevOps process concerns. So what are those key things which you can do to make you learn DevOps faster? The very first thing which I'll share with you in this video is for you to have the right mindset. For you to have the right mindset, DevOps actually is a practice. Just like we have the medical practice, we have the legal practice, DevOps is a practice. And with DevOps being a practice, there are a set of tools and technologies which you must know for you to actually implement DevOps in a given environment or in a given company. So DevOps engineers are experts who actually collaborate with different teams and with developers to ensure that companies release their softwares or their products effectively to their end users. And with DevOps being a practice, DevOps as a whole seeks to ensure that the software development life cycle of applications or of products for different customers or for different companies are released faster. So you having the right mindset about the whole DevOps practice will give you a better motivation in starting or will give you a better motivation in understanding DevOps. And DevOps has a lot of possibilities. Once you can go through all the DevOps technology key stacks that the DevOps culture or the DevOps practice has, you'll be able to occupy several roles in the DevOps space. You might maybe want to occupy a role as a solutions architect. You might want to occupy a role as a, as a DevOps engineer or as a cloud uh, architect or as a cloud engineer or as a site liability engineer or as an administrator. All those roles are possible once you have the right mindset about the DevOps culture. So first, you should have the right mindset about DevOps, which is DevOps is a practice. The second tip I'll list out to you is to learn DevOps by doing hands-on. You need to learn DevOps by doing hands-on. And yes, DevOps actually has a lot of tools. You might maybe want to start your DevOps journey with the Amazon Web Service Cloud or with the Microsoft Azure Cloud or with the Google Cloud. You find out that a lot of tools are available for you to use in the DevOps practice. Now, given that there are these many tools, companies are always looking out for experts that have a mastery of these tools. So there's no way you're saying you're going to occupy a role as a DevOps professional without you having hands-on experience with these tools. So I always share with my audience, it is very important for you to have a good mastery of these DevOps tools. And you can do this by carrying out a lot of hands-on, doing a lot of projects and not just doing these projects, but actually understanding the flow from one step of the way to the other having a mindset of what you want to achieve in your team or having a mindset of what the problem it is you want to solve with devops technologies and then seeing how you can put together these technologies to solve that problem by the way i'm starting a devops bootcamp with eight lab projects which i'll be doing with all my audience so you want to check the link in the description to participate in these eight projects i'll be doing eight projects for eight weeks with those that will join me in this very special hands-on lab and this hands-on lab will go a long way to fine-tune your experience with certain technologies as far as devops is concerned and then these projects of course can get you the opportunity to start interviewing for some roles so check the link in the description to get yourself started or well you want to actually reach out to me to get more details about these eight weeks eight projects bootcamp which i am running the third tip i want to share with you is you should master key devops technologies once you have the right mindset and you've been able to gather hands-on experience or you want to start galvanizing your hands-on experience you must master key devops tools there are a lot of tools that can be overwhelming but once you pick a particular cloud technology maybe microsoft Azure or Amazon Web Service Cloud or Google Cloud, but you want to use the right set of tools and master these tools. AWS has a lot of services, a lot of foundational services that you can use ranging from services around user management, services around compute, services around networking and a whole lot infrastructure as code, a lot of these services and even going open source, there are services that are not 
specific to a particular cloud we can say they are cloud agnostic you want to have a mastery of all these tools these tools are the requirements which companies have when looking out for talent and for you to actually occupy a devops role you must have the mastery of some of these key devops tools so if you want to learn devops faster have a roadmap of a particular cloud stack which you want to begin with if you say you're beginning with microsoft azure cloud or you're beginning with amazon web service or with google cloud have a good understanding of the foundational services around a particular cloud stack which you choose and after and after having that understanding you want to go on to pick one tool at a time along the devops practice remember devops being a practice there are key things which are being done to ensure a good devops posture in an environment we talk about continuous integration and continuous deployment you want to talk about microservices you want to talk about monitoring and logging you want to talk about infrastructure as code you want to talk about collaboration and communication so irrespective of the cloud technology which you are working on you must make sure that you have enforced continuous integration and continuous deployment you've enforced infrastructure as code you've enforced monitoring and logging you've enforced microservices you've enforced communication and collaboration and of course you want to secure your environment so have a good mastery of tools so if you say you want to actually have an understanding of continuous integration and continuous deployment for aws cloud you now go to aws console what are those aws services that can ensure smooth continuous CI/CD implementation so you maybe want to talk about code build code deploy code pipeline if you've actually set up to understand infrastructure as code on the aws cloud maybe you want to have a good understanding of aws cloud formation going further to microservices on aws cloud you want to look at the elastic container service or the elastic container registry or the elastic kubernetes service on the aws cloud and a whole lot of other services now if you take out that you want to also understand these tools in a cloud agnostic environment you maybe want to look at jenkins for continuous integration and continuous deployment you may want to look at terraform for infrastructure as code for microservices you may want to understand docker you may want to understand kubernetes as well for container orchestration and container management and then you also want to maybe understand open source tools like slack like uh, prometheus grafana for monitoring and logging and a whole lot so summarily you must have a mastery of all these devops tools that is how you can use to drive your way through the DevOps space. Now, the fourth tip which I'll share with you is DevOps is a continuous learning process. DevOps or IT as a whole is a very rapidly changing industry. So if you're getting into the DevOps space, for you to actually learn DevOps faster, you must have the habit of continuously learning. If you've actually started studying AWS Cloud or Microsoft Azure and you find a particular service, you should be inquisitive to know how this service is done in a cloud agnostic environment or how this service is done in another given cloud provider. So you must have the habit of going through learning, continuous learning. You should be familiar with documentations, maybe on AWS documentations of the particular service, how to implement AWS services. You must be familiar about how to go about infrastructure as code with a lot of those services. So you should have the attitude of continuous learning because guess what? Once you're being hired for a DevOps role or whatever the case, you have no experience of what has been going on in that particular environment. It is your quality to learn or to continuously do a lot of research that will keep you driving in that given industry so do well to have that habit that's if you want to actually keep yourself up to speed with the devops technologies or with the devops practice the last tip which i'll share with you is to collaborate with peers collaborate with others that are doing devops so that you always have yourself motivated to maybe do one or two projects and of course have yourself someone that can mentor you along projects because just as it is very easy to learn devops it is very easy for you to forget some of these devops too. so find yourself in a network of constantly doing some of these projects find yourself in a network where you're constantly being motivated to think beyond your normal possibilities or they are being motivated to go out to implement one or two projects and a whole lot and again like i mentioned i have a special eight weeks eight projects bootcamp which is currently running which you want to be part of that particular bootcamp which will give you a lot of hands-on experience along some of the key devops tools which i've mentioned and tell you you must be able to master these devops tools and why not when mastering these tools you should have the habit of continuously learning and with the habit of continuously learning do yourself well to be part of a devops team or have a mentorship program which you can have the right motivation every time you want to go through your journey. So if you love this video, do it to like the video, share the video, comment if you actually want me to do anything that will help you in your journey. Or if you're still a starter and you're really not sure how to go about your DevOps journey, do it to leave a comment, do it to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll go on to reach out to you and see how I can make your journey more simple or i can make your journey smooth and very pleasurable until then check the link in the channel description and join my eight weeks eight projects bootcamp see you